Okay, uh, everyone's probably heard in some way, shape or form about the Gorgon Gas Project. It's a huge uh, operation that's underway uh, on uh, Barrow Island. And, of course, it's... Uh, taking natural gas uh, to Western Australia and then to the world. Uh, but uh, not long ago, the uh, Maritime Union of Australia has held a press conference um, launching a global campaign targeting Chevron, one of the owners of the, uh, the project, for cost blowouts and delays. So we're now joined by the Union uh, Secretary here in WA is Christy Kane. Hello, Christy. How are you going? Yeah, hello, Gunny. How are you, mate? Yeah, good. What's, uh, what's the nature of this campaign you're launching? Well, we decided, um, look, we've, we've decided to launch an international global campaign targeting uh, Chevron over the cost blowouts and the delays on the Gorgon project. It's a joint campaign between the Maritime Union of Australia and the International Transport Workers Federation, which has 5.5 million members around the world. Um, you know, the Maritime Workers is sick of being blamed for the cost blowouts and the delays on Gorgon. And, uh, you know, we're sick of being used as scapegoats by, by Chevron. In what way have there been blowouts that you say are not, you know, the union's fault? Or? Well, all of them, by the way. <laughs> uh, and we're going to go and prove that. And there's been an independent report, and I've said this on your show before, by BIS Shrapnel, that found wages of maritime workers made up less than 1% of the cost of building Gorgon. Less than 1%, Gary. Mm. Now, you know, they keep putting in the press and all over the place. We need to deliver productivity. And I've got to say, in that report, which is independent, um, it was found quite clearly that um, uh, stuff coming from uh, the wharfies down in Henderson um, has been delivered 40% uh, quicker than that at the island. And on the island, I've got to say, you have to look at the management. You know, we need better management, not lower wages for workers. And um, we're prepared to, to uh, show that we have given the productivity down there. Um, and Chevron needs to take the head out the sand. And, you know, I'm sick of hearing that workers are to blame for problems on the Gorgon project when we've clearly management issues. And why the timing of it uh, being today? What, what's that all about? Well, there's no better timing. There's 1,800 employer groups in, uh, in the APA conference. Um, you know, the government's there and, you know, little old Maritime Union myself is there as well. We, we applied to go in and um, we've been there and, you know, as I say, we want to work with Chevron. We want to work with all the oil majors. Um, but understand, Gary, we've been asking for meetings with Chevron for up to four, three, four, five years, well before the project started. We've done long-term agreements that it would give the industry stability, and yet they still want to blame the Maritime Union of Australia. Is this... Uh, cost blowouts. I mean, don't forget we've... Uh, it wasn't long ago that the Royal Commission into uh, Unions was called. Is this a bit of a fight back to say, you know, we're sick of uh, being looked on as the bad guys? Well, the Royal Commission, you can do whatever they want with Royal Commissions, but I've got to say this, mate. If you, if you have a look at um, what we've done, the Maritime Union of Australia... We have worked within the guidelines of Fair Work Australia. We have had secret ballots John Howard's way, and he introduced them laws, um, and they've come back them ballots 100% uh, in favour of the union. We're a small union, but we, we, we bargain hard and collectively bargain hard, but we don't go outside the law. Has it become easy to uh, whip the unions these days? And don't forget, we just had a Senate election rerun, and Labor's uh, uh, swing against it was... Uh pretty uh, destructive here in Western Australia and people might say that part of that is uh, the influence that the unions have I'm not too sure about that mate, look we're open and I've listened to that debate, I'm um, sure there's going to be a lot more debate w within the Labour Party and we're open for suggestions I mean we're not frightened of people coming in outside the union to uh, have a say or join the Labour Party we, you know, we encourage debate and if it makes the Labour Party stronger for, for that, well, so be it. And, um, I'm sure we're going to be a player in there anyway. So, you know, we've got nothing to fear from other people coming in, and there's going to be a lot of debate around the ALP, especially after the, um, of, after Saturday's result. How is your sure. membership drive going there, if I can ask? How's the MUA going in terms of signing up people for the very, Labour very Party? Well. See, and when I say sign them up, our people uh, understand that you need a political voice in the Parliament. Um, to have any objective in the union movement. And you got Joe Bullock. Um, 
Oh, yeah, well, you know, Joe's Joe. I'm not too concerned about that. I would have liked to have seen Louise Platt. Uh, uh, and obviously she's still got a chance to get up there. Um, and, uh, and, you know, there's no no diversity. I mean, look who else has got in, Mr Palmer as well. So, you know, I've, I've heard the criticism come from the Liberal Party. I'm not too sure whether they're going to criticise him too much uh, going forward. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Um, was that just on? on well, well, I know you want to talk about Chevron on that, but just on the election result, uh, do you think seriously? I know Alana McTiernan always talks about how this is the wake-up call, and she said it a few years ago, and she's saying it again: the wake-up call for the power base that uh, provide the candidates. Um, but you, you are you are strongly trying to uh, strengthen your own power base, the MUA, in terms of uh, voting at state council and so on. Um, is that still? part of your plan and is that why we're seeing these sort of campaigns to get the profile out there well our profile doesn't have to go out there too much i mean it was probably in every paper every day um, uh, and with with all due respect if there is more debate within the alp to make the alp stronger then we're all for that i haven't got an issue with that having that debate um, as far as people being in a union well i'd like them all to be in a union but that's not the case there's only about 18 19 percent around around the country at the moment so obviously um people have to take that into consideration have a look at it and have the debate on that on the best way forward and uh, we've got nothing to fear from that at all in fact you know our people turn up to branch meetings and get involved in the debate and you know the labor party left with all due respect gary and you know this was formed from the trade union movement mm -hmm. many many years ago and um so we've got no problems whether they're in the union or out the union you know, we'll encourage them to join the ALP to make it stronger. All right, and uh, this campaign that you're talking about uh, against Chevron or to raise awareness of some of the issues going on with Gorgon Project, will they involve any industrial action? Well, the campaign will be going global. As you know, the International Transport Federation, our national secretary is the president on that. It's 5.5 million workers. And I'm sure we'll be speaking to uh, senior executive management in the United States because we don't believe that that senior management uh, of Chevron know what's going on in West Australia. And um, we, it's about time, instead of us sitting back um, and taking all this blame for the cost blowouts, it's about time we got on the front foot and told the truth out there to the public and internationally as well. And that's exactly what we'll be doing. And we won't be stopping until we're heard. All right, Christy, you usually do get hurt. Thanks very much for joining us today. No, thanks very much, Gary, and the listeners. Thanks very much, Mike. Christy Kane there from the MUA, WA. Uh, they say they're sick of being blamed for issues with particularly one project, and that's the Gorgon Project, which uh, will reap millions and millions of dollars in natural gas. Uh, what do you think? Uh, he, he answered a couple of the questions here in relation to the Labor Party's showing at the uh, Senate election rerun. Um, and uh, as he said, he, he, he would have preferred to see Louise um, Pratt on the number one ticket for the Labor Party, but it wasn't to be. Uh, Joe Bullock, who is a, uh, a very powerful union man in his own right, uh, um, going back many years, has got up there. So um, what do you think of that? Nine double two double one eight eighty two is the number. It's quarter past eleven.